All right, so we're at our first stop on our Canada field trip to Ontario. This is for my mineral science class. This morning we are here at a place called Green Mantle Farm. It's a privately owned piece of land. It's adjacent to uh, some crown land. And the owner, Mark, uh, gives mineral eco-tours of the land. He works really hard to preserve the unbelievably beautiful mineral specimens. He has a mining claim on the adjacent crown land and uses that to preserve the minerals that are found there. Come on in. We can form a around here. This is dirt here, which you see here. Study of geology is a very daunting field. Nobody knows everything, so if you feel you don't know anything, well, welcome to the club. Um, so this rock, it just rolls back and forth. So it rocks and rolls back and forth, and that's all that's done for 10,000 years. So I want you to understand, I don't carry these rocks from over there to here. So this rock rocks and rolls, and we roll it. We see something unusual here, right? You're always looking for the unusual. So this grayish mineral here, what do you suppose this is? It's the C word, okay? Calcite. Calcite. <laughs> Say five times calcite. Okay, so the last mineral, uh, property of calcite we saw um, was that it neutralizes acids. All right, so today, this is our last day in Bancroft up in Ontario. So a little recap. First day, we went to the um, mineral eco tour at the Green Mantle Farm. And then we went uh, farther west and saw the famous dragon outcrop, which I didn't really do any vlogging at, no pictures or video. The weather was crappy. It's been kind of spitting at us a lot with rain. Yesterday, we did a loop um, around highways 28 and 62 heading south of town. It didn't take a lot of videos yesterday either. I took some photos, and so those will show up on my Instagram, of course. Today we is our last day, as I mentioned, and we're gonna be traveling around, seeing sites in and around Bancroft, Ontario itself. We've already stopped at the orange calcite and tremolite outcrop. And right now, we are in the middle of downtown Bancroft at this Nephilim scrap pile. It's a great little spot you can come and collect uh, minerals here. The main mineral is this white stuff is Nephilim, which is similar to a feldspar. Um, but really, you come here for some of the more exotic things, especially the zircons. The zircons are, are kind of one of the coolest things to find here. There's also magmatic calcite. It's kind of a brownish tan color. There's lots of large biotite, and there's some uh, green uh, apatites around, and a few other things. Oh, a little bit of soda light here and there. Students are already busy at work trying to find the various things, so let's see what we find. All right, so here's some really nice pieces. Let's start with this one. This one has really nice calcite. This kind of tannish brown color, nice rhombohedral cleavage in it, lots of biotite in there as well. But these, 
these have incredible zircons. So there's there's one there. Really nice one down in there. And that little hole in there. If you can see that very well. It's a large one up here in that corner in that spot. And this piece also has lots of really big zircon. These are some of the biggest ones I think I've ever found here. Those are really huge. And there's some smaller ones here, but even those things are gigantic for zircon size. Zircon's normally very microscopic, just a few hundred micrometers long. Nice piece. We're at Egan Chutes Provincial Park, and uh, out by the road you can see the regionally metamorphosed marbles. They're kind of nice there, nice layering to them. Up here we're going to visit the York River Scarn, where the marbles are really, really altered by uh, hot fluids coming off of a Nephilim cyanite intrusion, which we'll see later. That's over on the other side of the river. This is the York River. Okay, so right now we're in the old Nephilim cyanite quarry. And it's not very big. Not a, not a large operation, obviously. It's filled with water now. And this is where those scrap piles came from that were back in town. Uh, a lot of Nephilim, calcite, the really big zircons, uh, the big biotite, little green apatites, and lots of other fun little minerals. And so the York River Scarn is over there across across the York River from here. You can see it. You couldn't walk there from here, but you can see it from here. We're going to continue on down the path that way and uh, see the Egan Chutes. We'll see the York River really get constricted down and the water starts flowing. Uh, it's much more rough flow than it is here. So this is a really beautiful spot. This is the end of Egan Chutes, and the chute is up in there where the channel of the York River becomes really constricted and the water flows faster through there. There's also the nice waterfall. And it's a really, really neat spot for uh, seeing how the stream changes so dynamically from upstream there where it's uh, fairly smooth and easy stream flow in here where it gets much rougher.
And so this is Egan Shoots uh, Provincial Park. And there's a lot of neat geology here to see. All right, well, the uh, trip to Ontario has basically come to an end. This is our last stop here at Niagara Falls. And we head home uh, across the border back to the States. Here is the American side of Niagara Falls. You can see how a number of rocks have fallen down here. This is coming off of these more resistant layers of the Niagara and Escarpment. Uh, this is the Horseshoe Falls on the Canadian side. And again, you see really large blocks of rock have fallen down and it's nice horseshoe shape as it continues to erode backward through time since the last ice age. Uh, something like uh, 100,000 cubic feet of water per second uh, goes over the falls. So it's really, really, really intense and really awesome. Anyway, so tonight we head home, back over the border, back to the United States, and this brings us to the end of our field trip for uh, my mineral science class. It's been a good couple of days up in Bancroft and the surrounding area and tonight we head home.